we march. For justice. Equality. Peace. We say their names. 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Behind me here, the scene now a massive memorial for George Floyd. The police killing of Breonna Taylor in Louisville. So that they would never be forgotten. Fatal shooting of Ahmaud Arbery. 23-year-old Elijah McClain was out buying iced tea when he was stopped by three officers. This is a movement. Not a moment. Together we are one. Together we stand and raise our fists in the fight for justice, where we can all live in peace, love, and harmony. This is America. This is Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a movement that was founded July 13th in 2013 in response to the murder of Trayvon Martin. It, since then, it really has evolved and it's become bigger than just a movement. It's become a safe place where the Black community can come together and fight against this injustice and this inequality and racism, discrimination. 2020 itself has already been a crazy year with COVID-19 and everything and with the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement, not just becoming, you know, national, but also becoming international. Like it's reached other countries where people are also protesting, you know, for the whole incident that happened with George Floyd. And it's really a shame that over time, we're, we're still dealing with this. This is still an issue in America. The black community wants equality and justice for those who were murdered due to police brutality. These are things that shouldn't be normalized, yet somehow in America it is, and people don't see an issue with that. And that itself is an issue. Growing up half black in the United States has really you know, taken a mental, physical, and emotional toll on me. As a kid, I never really understood why people would make fun of my skin tone or my hair or, you know, call me certain names like Oreo. Um, I, I never really understood why those things happened. And I knew that there was something wrong there, but I never fully understood why it was wrong. You know, at the age of six was really my first time experiencing racism and um, I never really understood why kids would say that I was ugly or that my mom adopted me and that I wasn't really her kid and that she didn't love me because I didn't look anything like her. And my brother and sister, they have different dads, so you know they're not half black. And that kind of made things a, a bit worse. And my dad wasn't really around um, growing up either, so... You know, people would see me, a, a tan brown girl with dark brown eyes and curly hair, and then look at, you know, someone like my mom or my siblings and say, yeah, you don't belong there. That, that That's not your family. Your family gave you up because they didn't love you. You know, I grew up wanting straight hair, um, wanting to be pale. I just always grew up thinking that I was ugly or that I didn't belong. And with the Black Lives Matter movement, it's really helped me find myself and feel connected to my roots and with my people. It's made me realize that I matter, my dad matters, my you know cousin matters, my uncle matters. It's really powerful and it's just, it's more than a movement. And for the people who fail to realize that, are the people that will keep setting this country back, keeping the black community from being able to move forward and heal, where we could finally reach a place where we're all equal, no matter the color of our skin.